Starting tonight for the next three days, people in our area can get a glimpse into John Lennon's life through his artwork. Lindsay Thies got a sneak peek of the exhibit before it opens to the public tonight. Yeah, and Jen, Lennon would have been 75 this wow. year. And something that maybe I'm sure some diehard Beatle fans know, uh, this was news to me, uh, that John Lennon was actually in art school before he okay. joined the band that would later on become the Beatles. So this exhibit has a little bit of that music, but it also has a lot of artwork including pictures too. Very cool. John Rogers, owner of Omaha's Gallery 72, loves the Beatles music. They were good then and they have aged beautifully. So when the opportunity came to host an art show of John Lennon's artwork. The answer is yes. For the next three days, this gallery in Regency is the only place to see Lennon's work. There's 80 pieces in all, from seriographs of Lennon's songwritings to lithographs reproduced from Lennon's original drawings, many of them highlighting his self-portraits and family drawings of his wife, Yoko Ono, and son, Sean, some of which the whole family worked on together. You know, he'll draw a painting of a, or a drawing of a horse, and then he'll ask Sean, you know, What's the horse doing? Sean says, the horse is laughing. With every picture, a story behind the image. Plus Beatles and Lennon's music to fully round out the experience. With the art that's been very carefully put together to represent his life, they find they're meeting John Lennon. That's why I go for that rock and roll music. That meeting made possible from Yoko Ono's supervision. And one more part that makes this artwork key to what the man who sang about imagining peace for everyone. Music. A mission of giving back. While the exhibit is free to check out, they're also collecting money for Food Bank of the Heartland. We can really do more with a dollar. We can, we can make it go so much further. Um, every dollar that we receive, we can provide three meals. So those works are on display at Regency Mall throughout the weekend. The, the full public opening is tonight. And the exhibit's free. You can bring donations for the Food Bank of the Heartland. Uh, for the real avid art collectors, you can also buy some of those okay. pieces. They will set you back, though. The, the least expensive are about 1000 Okay. And the most expensive are a little close to $10,000. So okay. kind of pricey. Yeah. Just a little pricey, but still very neat to look at. Very cool. And it, even the small glimpse we got there, you do feel like you're learning more about the history of who he was. Oh, I mean, he's, yeah. he's a legend, and so you get a little glimpse of his life. Definitely. And a lot of these are from after the time that the Beatles were really big, okay. too. So lots with Yoko and his son. Yeah, very neat. Interesting. Thanks, Lindsay. We appreciate it. Let's